no joke, this thing is comfortable. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warg and you're watching Gas Tax. Today I have something exciting to show you. I've had it for a while, but today I'm finally introducing it to you guys because there's a lot of videos coming out on this baby soon. So let's jump right into it. So I have a lot of followers on here that follow me because of my RV content. And as you know, I have a Winnebago Micro Mini 2306 BHS. And I've done over 24,000 miles in that. some of you may know but I've been gone from YouTube for a while for a couple reasons I purchased a business check out the video up here and then I also had a third child so I decided to upgrade right behind me is my 2022 mini 2801 BHS and what I'm planning to do with this baby is turn it into a mega FLX if you don't know anything about the FLX series micro minis it is the boondocking version of my camper but it didn't come out until after I built my boondocking trailer now I need more space and I have the biggest micro mini you can get so I decided to upgrade to the mini the size above gives you an extra one foot wider and then also different sizes and floor plans but they do not have an FLX version of this right behind me so what I am doing is I'm gonna be turning this into a boondocking mega FLX so here is the side view of my 2801 it is a 2801 BHS BHS is the bunk house model so it's a very similar concept to my 2306 micro mini except just bigger and by bigger I mean it's one foot wider and it is also about seven feet longer this is roughly 32 feet long and eight feet wide so right here we obviously have the basement storage let me show you in here it is a heated compartment Ooh, nice and toasty in here and down there in the corner there's a solar control charger because this baby comes with one 190 watt solar panel on the top but we're gonna be changing that real soon but stick around if you want to see the full solar upgrade moving down the side here you've got your water heater you've got your water fill an outlet a TV hookup then you've got your furnace you can hear this baby pumping out all the heat We've got the Goodyear endurance tires, and then I got my wheel chalk, my X chalk. Solid steps, I'm not really a fan of these. So let me know what you think. I think they take up way too much space, but I tell you, they are called solid steps for a reason. Now moving over here, 2801 BHS. Collier RV, check them out. Then we got the Comfort Tech package, we got the Explorer package, three year structural warranty. The Go Power on the roof already, but we're adding a lot more Go Power, the Asdale siding, and much more. Now this is something I did not have on my 2306. An outdoor kitchen, perfect for outdoor entertaining. But as you know, I'm a winter camper, so I didn't need the fridge. This fridge I actually took out because this is where I'm gonna have all of my solar controllers. I'm gonna have my batteries, all my solar gear, and so on. Now right here, we have the outdoor kitchen. We have a nice little griddle here. We have a sink. These are just connections. I've used the camper a couple times already, but I haven't done any modifications because I was saving it to share with you guys. Now moving on to the back, as you can see right below, there's a hitch receiver there for a bicycle rack, so that is great. I had to add one on my 2306. Now they come with them, but just so you know, this one does come with it. We've got this rear door that opens opens to the bunk houses and the bunk house actually folds up so if you want to stack some bicycles in there when you're traveling there's a perfect space for it guys I like to think I am perfect in every which way but this trailer is much bigger than my other trailer and I have a lot of experience driving the other trailer in tight spaces but this baby has some rear tail swing and I actually hit a building <laughs> on the first trip so I'll be going in how to fix that trim piece later on in the series. Now moving down the side here, we have our outdoor shower. We all have our hookups there. Love this, which I don't have on my old trailer, is the automatic stabilizers. So I love that feature. They do come on the Micro Mini now. This slide, oh my goodness, look how big this slide is. 
it is amazing. We got four windows in the slide because we do have these side windows on both sides. And then we have the two big windows, one for the dinette and one for the couch. One thing I love about this trailer is it has two gray tanks. One gray tank for the bathroom and one gray tank for the kitchen. Right there is the drain out for the kitchen gray tank. But guys, it's pretty chilly outside, so let's jump into the trailer because I got some cool things to show you. And there we are, guys. Welcome aboard to my new camper. Now, before we jump into an interior tour, I want to talk about today's sponsor, and that is Brooklyn Bedding. And that is the first thing everyone should update in their camper is their mattress. So let's jump into the bedroom and talk about that for a second. Flashback. End of flashback. Well guys, here we are on my new RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. Now if you want an RV mattress, just head on over to RVMattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. Not only do they offer premium quality mattresses, they also offer RV specific sizes to fit your RV. As these mattresses are made here in the US and they are conveniently shipped to you for free, just go on to RVMattress.com. Now guys, I can't tell you how comfortable this mattress is, you just gotta trust me, but the other thing you can do is buy a mattress from RVMattress.com and Brooklyn Bedding is gonna cover you for 120 nights to make sure you absolutely love it. Now, I see no reason why you need to return something this lush and comfortable, but if you do, you got 120 nights to try it out. The other great thing is, all mattresses on RVMattress.com come with a 10-year warranty. So rest assured, you'll be sleeping well for a long time. The biggest mistake I did with my old camper is I slept one night on that original mattress. And I knew when I bought this camper, I wasn't going to waste time sleeping on that mattress. Check out this footage of what is actually in the mattress that comes with the camper. Now that you've seen that, this Brooklyn bedding mattress is absolutely a thousand percent an upgrade. Now, searching for mattresses, I rarely had two criteria. It was a queen size, because that's the space I'm working with, and I needed something that was actually comfortable. And I went with the Aurora Lux, and I went with the medium firmness. And so far, I'm absolutely loving it, and no complaints from the wife, so that's even better. Now guys, that's enough pillow talk. If you're looking for a mattress, check out RVMattress.com because whatever you order ships free to your house and all of the mattresses are made right here in Arizona. So let's jump back into the RV tour. All right guys, so right here is obviously the door when you come in. Now this panel here is going to be where all of my solar switches are. If you look back at my old video, I put them right at the door. So this is going to be perfect because right behind there is where all the batteries, inverters and everything is going to be. Now this is a 2022-2801. I know there's a 2023 out there already or they're hitting the stores now. Uh, they've made this a ladder, so just keep that in mind when you're looking at this video if you're looking at a 2023 That is now a ladder now one of the great things about this as I mentioned we winter RV is we have a closet now now this closet is gonna be perfect for shoes snow boots jackets all of that fun stuff there's the furnace down there so you want to make sure you do not block that area but I love having an actual closet we got our thermostat we got a light switch for the actual closet moving on here this is a newer panel this is actually uh, an upgrade from my one in my current camper but it's everything all in one you've got your tanks you see there's two gray tanks in here you got your slides and you got some lights now backing out over here look at the size of those bunk beds you can easily put two kids in each of them or one and a half kids depending on how big your kids are, but this is perfect for my kids. Now that I have three kids, it actually works out perfectly because my two kids can sleep up top, my youngest infant can sleep at the bottom, as well as my wife if the infant is having a hard time sleeping, but this gives us perfect amount of space. As mentioned before, we got a window up top, and a window down below. There are USB outlets on both of them as well as a switch. Now coming into the bathroom, 
there is a porcelain toilet in this one that's one thing i upgraded and then we have a shower a sink as well as a vanity and down below so one thing they've done also in the 2023s is they've actually put some storage along here but i've got some solutions for some wall storage the shower is a tad small for a big guy like me in the 2306 it's actually a corner shower so there's a bit more space but this will work out perfectly now moving over to this slide look how big that slide is and it is flush with the ground it's a different slide mechanism than the micro minis so this gives you one level floor but we've got this sleeper couch here this comes in a couple different options but this is the sleeper couch this also pulls out into a full-size mattress so that is perfect we got the dinette with everything I'll be talking about later. Again, this also folds down to make a little bed as well if we need it. We've got our entertainment section here with the TV, the sound system, as well as some extra storage. Moving on over, this is the electric fridge. Now, initially, I did not want the electric fridge. I want the propane fridge. The reason I want the propane fridge is because I don't want to use that battery power to power the fridge when I'm boondocking. But because we're going to do a crazy solar and battery upgrade, this actually works out perfectly. Now the good thing with the electric fridge, it is massive in here. Much bigger than the propane ones. Moving on over to the kitchen. This is what we got. A nice little corner kitchen here. Great size sink. We've got the retractable faucet here, which is wonderful. A lot of upgrades coming here. Unfortunately, these newer models do not come with an oven. I miss that. I might do an oven install because we use the oven all the time. As you can see, there is my Brooklyn bedding mattress. It is massive. It is comfortable. It is delightful to lay on compared to what came in here. But this is the bedroom. Now we have outlets on both sides. We actually have a place for a TV. So that's going to come in here now. And then we have all of this storage window on both sides. And we've got an outlet for heat as well as under the mattress here this folds up and there is storage if you need it so guys that is the tour of the new 2801 what do you guys think i absolutely love it now it is a beast to tow around it's much bigger than my 2306 which i still have so do not worry i am still going to be doing videos on that i'm going to fix all the different things like the slide all the issues go over maintenance with that and then i will be selling it so if anyone is interested in a fully equipped boondocking rv that's 2306 micro mini let me know but let's talk about what's behind me here on the table now one of my most popular videos that i've ever done is the 100 plus modifications that I did on my 2306. Now something I didn't do is I didn't film any of the upgrades, I just did an overall video. Right behind me are some modifications, improvements, fun add-ons that I'm gonna be installing on the camper. Some of them are pointless, some of them are fun, and some of them are must-haves. Be sure you stick around because I'm gonna do 30 RV mods in 30 days to make sure you can see all the different modifications and accessories I add to my RV to make this baby mine. Thanks a lot for tuning into this video. Thanks a lot for the support. I've been gone a while, but I'm back and I'm here for some more RV content. So make sure you go to rvmattresses.com forward slash gas tax with the link down below to get your exclusive deal. Well guys, that's it for me today. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time.